So today we are going to continue with question 3 on our data science question and answer series and today's question will be explain briefly uh, these other phases of data analysis. So we have data engineering, dimensionality reduction, feature selection, method and hyperparameter selection, evaluation, integration of result, fusion, which is fusion and then decision. Now, uh, it may not be necessary for you to actually memorize the definition of all these things, but you should be able to understand the concept and be able to explain it in your own words. So, and they are pretty intuitive. For instance, we have data, data engineering. So let's start with that. Data engineering is a broad term that has to do with practical application of data analysis. Again, uh, this is a term that is, is quite broad. So, uh, it means a whole lot of things, so different ap application of data analysis in actually solving real, pro uh, real problems. So take note that there is difference between engineering, uh, engineering and science, and science. So when you hear of engineering, it also it always talks about application of science in solving problems. So data engineering now applies knowledge of data science to solve data analysis problems. Now, what is dimensionality reduction? Dimensionality reduction has to do with reducing high dimensional data uh, into lower dimension, representing this data using few principal components. So this is also another field of uh, data analysis that we are going to discuss in details a little later. But if you actually want to read more about dimensionality reduction, the theory behind dimensionality reduction, please click on this link and you can find the link to this page in the description box below this video. Now let's talk about feature selection. Feature selection phase of data analysis is the process that is involved in selecting the features of data that has the most variance. So let's take, for instance, you are trying to measure the, 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 the features of an animal, let's say of an elephant. So you have the length of the leg, the length of the, 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 the ear, the, the weight of the elephant, the volume, the length of the tusk, the color of the eye, and so on and so forth. So there are a way you could actually uh, select features that has uh, the most variance because sometimes it's not all the features in a particular data analysis uh, project or a data analysis object uh, that you have to use. So you have to decide which features are really relevant that you, allow, you really need. Method and hyperparameter selection is the process of selecting the parameter of a prior distribution. Now, um, I'm trying to say, I actually have discussed this in a different video. So try to uh, check out in my website, uh, kindtonthegenius.com, data science, and you can find where you can read up hyperparameter selection and uh, read about mainly prior distribution. So in this case, uh, let me see if I can illustrate. So if you have a population and we are trying to take out a sample from this population, We'll take some sample, uh, maybe ten. For now, we don't have, we don't know the, the the size of this population. So uh, now we have certain parameters of population. For instance, we have this is a is a parameter of the population. We also have this is also a parameter of the population. You may have other things about this population. So you need to actually choose which of the hyperparameter you want to use. So uh, in this case, you have to also have you say a prior distribution so it means in this case you you have actually measurements x1 x2 x3 inside the sample but there are some uh, uh, parameters from this population that you want to estimate using this but before you even take these samples there is a prior distribution uh, for this population that is maybe known or not known. So there is a way to select the parameter for a prior distribution. Let's talk about evaluation. Evaluation covers a range of activities involved in data analysis process. So 
integration of results called data fusion. Now, this term is important. So, if you might be asked, what is data fusion? So, uh, integration of results actually gives the explanation of this data fusion. This is a technique involved in integrating data from multiple sources into a more consistent, informative, and useful form. Sometimes you may also hear of something like consolidation. So you have fusion, uh, you have consolidation. All right, so decision is some action taken as a result of the insight gained from the analyzed data. So for instance, you have uh, analyze the, 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 the result from a patient's lab test and from that result you decide whether to give cancer treatment or not to give cancer treatment. So that is where decision comes. And remember in machine learning uh, we have three pillars or three theories of machine learning, probability theory, information theory and decision theory. So while I'm talking about data science here, sometimes we can, we can actually see overlap between data science and machine learning. You can watch another video of mine where I actually explain the difference between data science and machine learning and what to go for if you are a beginner. So I'm going to stop here and in the next lesson, uh, in the next question, we are going to answer this question, what is a random variable, which is a very important question in data science. I'd like to thank you for viewing and also like to remind you to subscribe to my channel.